Now, if you're here to see Extra Mode, you're probably wondering why you're seeing the ending again, and why there's Secret of Mana music playing instead of the actual game sound. Well, I lost the audio track, but more importantly, I want to show you something with this. There's something special you can unlock if you go through the game entirely without using any continues. Unfortunately, stopping to save apparently counts, so you have to do the entire game in one sitting, which, when you know what to do, doesn't take that long. But the point is, when you do that, and you go back to the main menu, when you go to save, you'll notice that your save file will have an S beside it. That means that you have unlocked an extra mode of play other than, well, extra mode, called Super. This mode of play is virtually identical to regular, except for a few key differences in how Robit plays. For one thing, if you hold L2 or L1 while you're walking around, he sprints. Also, instead of being able to jump just three times, he can now jump six times. And if you hit triangle while you're in midair, he will do basically a ground pound on whatever is below him. And when you combine the running with the sextuple jumping, that basically means you can fly around the world that you're in. Well, that was a nice little diversion, but let's move on to extra mode. Now, for time purposes, I'm going to be cutting out and skipping most of the cutscenes, and I'm also going to speed up the boss fights since they're almost entirely the same. Now, what's different in extra mode is look at the timer. Whereas we usually had 10 minutes, in this level we only have 3 minutes to find all the jet pods, which, if you remember from the first video, are now all in different places. That is the biggest change uh, between modes. Oh yeah, the bonus rings are also in different places too, and the bonus stages are all different as well. Now, uh, again, for time purposes, I'm going to save you the drama and say, I screwed this one up. Let's move on. Now the thing is, the level architecture for this world and for the next couple worlds is basically the same with a couple exceptions. Uh, that's going to change drastically when we get to... I want to say World 3 is where it starts to get really different. And another thing to note about these is, with a few exceptions, there's going to be time extensions. 30 second time extensions, like you've seen a couple of times before. Uh, either somewhere in the level, or somewhere right near where you start. It varies. And we are already done with World 1-1. One, one. Moving on to Stage 1-2. Again, like World 1-1, one, one, the architecture for this one is pretty much the same as the first. Although, again, all the jet pods are in different places. Which is kind of weird, because... With where they relocated this time, you can see, like, three of them from the starting point. So, they were trying to make this more challenging, they actually kind of screwed that up a little. The only really hard jet pods to get are the one that is bouncing on the frying pan, and the one that is directly under its fire. But this is all you have to do with the frying pan one, just wait till it bounces high and then triple jump over it. I am breaking my own rule about working from the top down, and I don't care, because I only have 2 minutes 18 seconds left to find all of these. Ah, there's the last one. Now there's another thing that they do in this too, they also relocate some of the exit pads. And what they're going to do a lot is shit like this, where something is waiting for you on the exit pad. So if you're on low health or something, that can really screw you over. But, we've gotten through all of these worlds. I'll tell you now, the boss fight is exactly the same, so I'm just going to make a sped up montage out of it. And that brings us to Extra Stage 2-1. Yes, I am going to include multiple worlds in this one, since the levels are much shorter. Alright, now, first thing you gotta do is... Look around here. Just getting my bearings real quick. Yes, we're gonna go for this jet pod first. 
And then there's one other jet pod that you'll notice uh, you can't really see it from where you start off because the islands, I think, have been moved a little further away from the mainland. So what we're going to do is move over here and there it is. Now we have to do a long jump to get to this island. It would probably be easier to do it from the ground, but whatever. And grab this one. It's kind of in a similar place to where one of the jet pods was before. Although, slightly more tricky to get to. Now, you grab the time stop, and from there you can see where the other jet pods are. That's another thing that you're going to see laying around a little more is these time stops to give you an idea of where to go. Now we're going to head over here first. Grab this jet pod sitting on top of the pedestal. And once we get that, we're going to immediately turn around and go back the way we came. Well, time triple jump to get back up to the Easter Island statue. And I completely forgot where I was going. What am I doing? Oh, right, it's back here. Free time. There you are. Wait, that's the exit. And by the way, behind the exit is the bonus ring, where the exit used to be. What a clever hiding spot. Now, I'm showing you this bonus stage in particular because it's kind of different from the other ones. There's a... If you notice the trail that the balloons leave, there's a very definite progression through this, a very definite path that you're supposed to follow in order to complete this bonus stage. I just thought it was a little different from uh, some of the other bonus stages we've seen so far, so I figured I would leave this in. Also, this is actually one of the bonus stages that I don't screw up. But in the tradition of extra time, I'm going to make an awkward cut there and just show you that I did, in fact, beat this bonus stage. And now we're going to very quickly move back to the exit. We only have 3 minutes, 18 seconds to travel a total of maybe, I don't know, 50 feet. And we did it! Yay! Now there is one thing I want to tell you about this next level. If you remember correctly, it's the one where we're inside the pyramid-like structure, walking around through uh, the different hallways. Remember how I uh, shot that one secret door and then got the health pickup? Well, if you don't use secret doors in this level, you are not going to pass it. Now, right away, what I'm going to do is check around this area. Kill the... Well, actually, I didn't kill that guy. Now, what I'm looking for here is something that's actually down this ramp that I keep passing by. And we're going to head down here and get some extra time. Like I said, there will usually be one of those near most of the level entrances. Now, make our way past this guy. This jet pod is exactly the same, but that is not the case for most of the other ones. I think the one near the exit is in the same place, but the other two have been moved. And with only five minutes to go, I really don't want to waste time. Now, the second you drop down, shoot this door that is right in front of you. Now, you're going to see the HP thing, but there's another secret door right here. And once we go through here, we're going to have to actually go up for this section. Make our way around the spider. And whatever. And you shouldn't really stop to kill anything. You can just breeze right through this, but I was in the mood to kill stuff. And to forget that I was holding down the fire button. <laughs> Okay, so, there's only two jet pods left now. We're going to keep moving and go through another secret door. Yeah, if you don't like secret doors, this is not the level for you. We're going to drop down here to get another time extension. And then we're going to go through another secret door. And once we get around this, we're going to round the corner, go down a little bit, and then drop down this hole. Now, there's no secret doors here. You just got to turn yourself around and you're going to see that jet pod up in front of you. Here's what you have to do. Go into the pit, grab this one. Now, turn around. There's going to be a doorway right there. The first time you do this, you're probably going to not realize that doorway is there and continue doing laps around this one area. But this is where you're supposed to go. And this jet pod is pretty much the same as it was the first time around. Shut up! And we just move here, grab the jet pod, 
Now we've got to turn ourselves around and find the right sand dune, current, whatever. And do the exact same thing as before because the exit pad is in the same place. Okay, now, this boss, once again, is exactly the same as the regular uh, playthrough. Well, except for the time limit, but I don't think that's worthy of uh, showing the entire boss fight. So, here's another sped up montage. And next time we'll do worlds 3 and 4. Bye!